Hey people, Shaman Hawk here for Shamanic Laws. Now I've done a few videos on my little garden area. Again, this is to show you, not that I'm some outstanding dude or anything, but just how much can be done by one person at a very moderate pace. You know, I'm not out here to work myself to death under the sun. But I've seen done a couple videos on Instagram and here about how I was making these garden beds without spending any money, just my time. And so you'll see on the other videos that what I did, I took old hay that comes from the bottom of these like big bales over there. They sit for a while, they get moldy on the bottom. We can't feed them to the horses. And I lay it down like I did here. And then I pile old leaves on top of that, old dirt on top of that, plenty of horse shit and wood chips on top of that, and just alternating layers. Well, this is like three months later, you know, I got really good soil here. You know, I'm going to turn it over two more times, probably put some old leaves on it again that I've had stacked up. That's my little composting area. That used to be full, and it just settles down just with water and heat. I'll move them up and turn them over and put them back in one other uh, one of those circles. Here's what's left of my, my broccoli starting to get heads, what's left of my chard. And then I take the other hold hay, you know, and I make these borders and foot paths. It'll get packed down. It'll stop erosion it's a little higher than this area. But like I said, it's just me doing this moderately. This is the uh, second time that I've turned these beds over. I'll do it two more times in the winter. What's left of my tomatoes, I'll take that apex down. You know, I'm going to feed these old tomatoes to the chickens. What's left of my Russian kale. So I turned that one over yesterday. I flip it with the shovel. You know, go along in one line, flip it over, and then rake it. Did these two other ones yesterday. Okay, so what's left of my squash? So yeah, not that hard to do. Gotta do this bed today, probably today, depending on weather. And this is an area where I had extra hay. Put it down, you can see the horse shit there, and the wood chips. It'll get a layer of leaves today. And just lay it over top and let nature work on it. When the rain hits it, and the sun hits it, you know, all these other enzymes start going down. That's bordered with small sunflowers. You know, get it at the feed store. Let me show you what the soil looked like in the beginning, what I started with. Grass like this, this is what the hay went over. You know, just spiky old grass and soil that just doesn't do anything. It's an expansive soil. It gets super, super sticky, like it has super glue in it. And then I start from one end like I do here. I just fill it up. This will get leaves and a layer of hay over it. And I just keep bringing it over. I dig up some of this dirt over here and throw it on up, break it over it. And just fill that all the way and then come springtime i'll be able to plant all of this and i'll probably do corn here well i'll do corn first and then right the corn gets about you know a foot high i'll plant climbing beans so it'll climb up the corn help fertilize it and then after that i'll plant some squash in there you know bush squash bush beans and it'll just be one big field of vegetation or big patch of vegetation it's all ready about the same time so like i said this is just one person doing this okay i'm 64 years old i'm not trying to do this as some athletic competition sport but the point is imagine if i had two more people when i lived in detroit in 2010 to 2011 from june to june i dug up six house lots bad neighborhood those houses were firebombed during drug wars. <laughs> That's the kind of neighborhood that was. But you could buy a house there for $2,000. I left there, sold the house for 2,500 bucks. Everybody talked about community, gonna do things, but I was the only one out there doing any of that work. If the other people that told me that they wanted to do it, did it, we could have done most of the neighborhood. Every house could have had its own house lot garden, you know, all through the neighborhood. But people were just lazy. And that's how we're in the point that we are today. Our ancestors, man, they worked from sun up to sun down, before the sun was up, after the sun was down, they were preparing for the next day. And they were healthy and strong people, you know, determined to be in control of their own destiny. We got lazy. 
back in the 60s. I remember on TV, we're going to live a life of leisure. George Bush Sr., you know, we're a nation of consumers. You know, yeah, be fat and lazy. It's cool. And now look at us. Now they're talking about food chain interruptions, all these shortages, all because we allowed ourselves to get lazy. Well, allow yourself to be strong again and control your own life and destiny.